Hello YouTube, this is Frugal and here we are today in DCS A10C, but we're not actually in this. I wanted to show you something with voice attack. Now, long-time viewers of this channel know I recently did a video on Elite Dangerous showing voice attack there with the HCS voice packs. And it occurred to me when I was doing that video and looking at voice attack, which is an $8 piece of software, by the way, that voice attack would be ideally suited to DCS. Not for doing things like aircraft commands, but for managing the comms. You see, communications in DCS is a royal pain. For example, if I wanted my, uh, my wingman to, to break to avoid an incoming target, incoming uh, threat, I would have to press the slash key then F1 for my wingman, and then I would need to press, I think, F4 for maneuvers, then F1 for break left, or F2 for break right. It's, it's a pain, especially when you're in the heat of battle and trying to control your own aircraft. To suddenly let go of the controls and grab a keyboard and start hammering out those combinations is a complete pain in the bottom. But it's actually very easy to do with voice attack. In fact, voice attack brings with it a huge amount of power that I don't think a lot of people realize it has. So what I'm going to show you in this video is how to set up voice attack in DCS and do some pretty complex stuff, including conditions and conditional things. Oh. Two, engage air defenses. Actually, the wrong one. Two, engage ground targets. Opportunity. There we go. So he's going to go about his business now and engage. Oh, there's air defenses. Two, engage air defenses. So you can see it's pretty cool. I can issue all those commands without any problem. Now I think I can do these commands. No, I can't. There is a way of doing an active pause, and I really can't remember what it is. So I'm going to quit out of this and get into uh, an aircraft on the ground and show you what's involved and issuing some of these commands. In fact, I can show the commands here. So now if I wanted my wingman to rejoin, I would have to press the, the slash key, then my wingman, then I would need to choose, in this case, F5, which is rejoin, pain in the bum. But it gets more complex because if I wanted to do that for my flight, look, slash key, flight, and now rejoin is a different key. It used to be F6, and now it's uh, F5, and now it's F6. Somebody just shot at the SAM launch. Let's, let's assume it's not going to hit us. It probably will, but it doesn't really matter. So. Two, break right. Two, break right. Anyway, let's get out of this and I'll show you how to set it all up. So I'm going to quit this mission and we will go into an instant action mission. All right, so here we are in the MiG-21. Um, I did say MiG-15, I meant MiG-21. MiG-15 I do have to do a video on, but the MiG-21 has slightly more complex uh, communications commands. For example, if I press on slash, well you can see as soon as I press on slash, I'm in the wrong menu, so I need to hit F11. And if I look at Wingman, you can see Rejoin there is F5. But if I go over to Flight, you see Rejoin is F6, so different commands. We'll get onto why that's important in a minute. But first, let's go ahead and set up some basic commands here. So, go down onto Voice Attack, we'll drop this down, we'll choose Create a New Profile. I'm going to call this DCS Demo, as you just saw. Click on Done, there's already a profile called DCS Demo, so we'll, we'll just stick with DCS Demo because there's nothing in it. And I'm going to go ahead and create a command. So this new command is going to be called, let's bring the uh, dialog over here, it's going to be called Wingman. Okay? And we're going to say that when I say the word Wingman, I want the uh, voice attack here to press the slash key. You can see there's slash to start comms, followed by F11 to get us back out up to the main menu and then F1 to get us into that wingman menu. We'll just do all of that and we'll click on OK and we'll click on Done. Let's go back in the sim. Wingman. Pretty cool. So that's working just fine. Now just in case sometimes the commands get confused and we end up with this comms menu up on the screen, I want that to all go away. We'll set up a command for that. So we'll go down here We'll type in edit profile, new command, and I'm going to call this one clear comms. And what we will do is we'll go to previous menu, which is F11, there, followed by slash. We won't do the F12 exit, I prefer to do it this way. Done, done, clear comms. And away it goes. Wingman, wingman, clear comms. Nice. Now, often when you're flying, you won't actually say wingman. That's not a really good radio thing. You'd actually call out the number of the wingman that you're flying with. So we'll put in a new command here. Very simple command. In fact, no, we won't. We'll actually go to this wingman command, and what we can do is edit what we say here and put a semicolon and type in 2. Now, 
voice attack is going to listen for me to say wingman or two. Wingman. Clear comms. Two. Clear comms. Pretty cool, right? Now, that's not really the cool bit. This is the cool bit. If we go look at that comms menu for a wingman, we have, let's say, navigation. We got return to base is F1, F2, right? Off the wingman menu. Watch this. What we can do, go into edit profile, bring up that wingman command, and you tell it that this is a command prefix, and we'll call this wingmen. The prefix is a, the, sorry, the, the group here is a name that you give to a group of commands, and we're saying that this particular command, wingman or two, is a command prefix in this group. You'll see exactly what that means in a second, so we'll put that in there. We can add a new command in here, which is return to base, and that would be F1, F2. And we tell it that this is a command suffix for the wingman group. Now what's going to happen is voice attack is going to listen for two commands. It's going to listen for me to say this bit, and then it's going to listen for me to say this bit. Watch. Two, return to base. Wingman, return to base. Pretty cool, right? The reason that's cool is, if we bring up the cons menu again, you'll see we have flight on F2 and F off off the flight menu, which is F2, we can then press F1 for navigation and 2 for return to base. Just like what we just did. Kinda. So let me show you how that works. Let's go into the edit commands here. Let's look at this wingman command here. There it is. And it says do this, this, this. Well, we don't want to type all that in again, so we'll just duplicate. And instead, we'll change this from wingman2 to flight. And after we've gone back to that main menu, we won't press F1, because that puts us into the wingman menu. We'll delete that, and we'll say press F2. Click on OK. Now again, flight is a prefix in the wingman group, just the same as wingman is a prefix in the wingman group. And return to base is a suffix. So now we should be able to command the flight and the wingman. Watch. 2. Return to base. Flight. Return to base. How cool is that? Now here's the tricky bit. We can carry on doing this all the way through because by and large the wingman navigation commands, anchor here, return to base for example, and the wingman engage commands, ground targets, armor, artillery, air defenses and so on, are exactly the same for a flight. So there's navigation for a flight, like anchor here, return to base, or engage, again, ground target. So we can set up all these commands very, very simply using the suffix and the prefix thing very, very nicely indeed. The problem is that rejoin formation command. Off wingman, it's F5, and off flight, it's F6. How are we gonna manage that? It's actually very, very simple to do, especially if you've done any kind of programming at all, which many of you know I've done a lot of. So, watch this. We're gonna add a new command here, which is rejoin. And by default, that command is going to be... Now, I think it was off navigation, wasn't it? So that's F2, I think. We'll check that. And then after that, it's going to be F5. Oh, no, it's not. It's not off that at all. Hang on, let me cancel this. It's just F5, so we'll delete this. Key press, F5. Okay. We'll try that out. 2, rejoin. 2, rejoin. 2. Rejoin. That didn't work at all. Hang about. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, because they didn't set it up. That's not working because it's actually picking up rejoin as a full command. So we made that a command suffix. My apologies in the wingman group. There we go. My apologies. 2. Rejoin. Awesome. But if we go and say the same thing to the flight, it's not going to work. Flight. Rejoin. It locks us on that menu because it's expecting F6 for flight. So here's how we do that. We'll go into the flight command here, the flight prefix. And what we can do is some really, really cool stuff. We can go into other and we can drop this down and we can say set a condition value. So it's basically setting up a variable value. And we're going to call this flight command. And we'll set that to 1. Okay, so when we use the word flight, it's going to press all these keys and it's going to set an internal variable called flight command 
to 1. Now on rejoin what we can do is we can put in some more commands here so we can say other and we'll start a condition block here. Begin condition block. We're looking for flight command equals 1. If we have that then what we will do is we will issue another key press sorry insert key press which is F6 and then what we'll do is we'll clear that condition so we're basically resetting everything so we were in a flight command because we were in a flight command we pressed F6 and now we'll just clear the flight command bit so other drop this down um, set a condition value flight command and we click on the button down the bottom which says clear value and then finally we put in here now this is the really cool bit we can put in here the end condition block so we started the condition here we press the key we cleared that variable now we're gonna end the condition and notice we have a nice uh, option here that says when this block is re when this block is reached exit the command if the condition is met we'll check that and say OK now having done that we can move this other command all the way down so what's gonna happen is when we say rejoin now it says it's gonna check to see is flight command 1 if it is press F6 clear flight command and then exit. Now if that condition is not met it's just going to fall straight through here and then press F5 instead. So now we have a rejoin command that works for both wingmen and for the flight. Check it out. 2. Rejoin. Flight. Rejoin. 2. Rejoin. How cool is that? And of course as you saw earlier on we can do other stuff like we can put in synonyms for these commands. So if we don't want to remember return to uh, rejoin or some other arcane command, we want it to be a little bit more friendly, we can say here form up, uh, get on my wing, get back in formation, get over here. And all of those commands will all work exactly the same way. Two, get over here. Flight form up. So there you go. How to do fairly complex conditional commands with voice attack. And as you can see, it would be very, very easy to go through and set up uh, voice attack to do a whole bunch of stuff. In fact, I've already done that. I'm halfway through finishing it up. So if I switch to my DCS comms profile here. Two, engage ground targets. Flight, engage bandits. Second element, return to base. How awesome is that? Voice attack, as I said, is about $8. It's well worth it. It takes a little bit of tweaking and, uh, what's the word, trial and error, I guess, in some cases, to set up the profiles exactly as you want them. But as you can see, it's incredibly powerful. And for something like comms in DCS, it is beyond powerful. If you like realism, the last thing you really want to be doing is reaching forward for a keyboard every time you want to speak to your wingman, or worse yet, binding buttons on your joystick to deal with communications. This is a much better way to go. Hope you liked it. Please leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of the video. And until next time, my name is Frugal, and I'll see you very soon.